Well, hello and a very warm California welcome. Delighted to say, as is tradition, joined by UTS founder Patrick Muratoglu. Patrick, before we get to today, how good was last night? Gael Monfils taking on the world number six, Andre Rublev. Go on, Lamont. Tennis player turned baseball pitcher on that return. Mic, Mic drop. drop. <laughs> yep. Emmy, congratulations. Mission accomplished. European football next season. How does that sound? Yeah, it sounds brilliant. Let's go to Europe, baby! He's the talk of the town at the moment. 604 test wickets, recently retired. Stuart Broad, how are you? Fantastic, thank you. Great to be here. As the St. Louis Cardinals and Chicago Cubs put on a show on this side of the Atlantic. I know you're a local girl, so what would you like to say to these fans before you go? Uh, this is the most amazing stadium any of us have ever played in. <laughs> if Scotland win, are you going to amp up the celebrations a little bit more than when they qualified? Well, I got absolutely slammed for that on Rightly social so. media. Can you give us a get in? Get in. Is that, that's what I said, you wasn't said it? it twice. Was that? Get in, get in. Our icons have landed at Liberty National and with England captain Harry Kane who scored 183 Premier League goals and of course Robbie Gold, Chicago Bears all-time leading scorer. Yeah. Robbie wants a mulligan, he's not getting one, he's off the <laughs> green so Harry lands it on the green, he's the winner. Penalty for England Harry. Oh he's rolled it in. Football baby. <laughs> You're gonna have a statue out there one day right? <laughs> I'm laughing out. <laughs> if you were the manager of a young Unai Emery, would he play? No. <laughs> I am very demanding. Corey Blackett, Taylor, and answer your WhatsApp questions as well. But let's just take a look at the decisive moment, that first goal. The wrestling operation, we shall call it. Mike, are they doing this in Sheffield yet? Phil, we've got a lovely picture of you here with Sir Chris Hoy. <laughs> this might be your biggest achievement today, actually managing to get an Olympic champion on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> do you wear your medals at parties? Will you ever do that? <laughs> no Come on, chance. what about when you retire? No chance. All of them. <laughs> Dave. Yes! I cannot believe it. Unreal, pal. That's the home run right That's there. That's the home run thing right there. I heard if you weren't a tennis player, you'd be a singer. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. You take a, a position right now. So. I'm an Argentina fan, Diego. You know that. Anyway. I've got to go and join Dominic Cork now. Think of me. We'll think of you. Good luck with that one. Dominic Cork and Nasser Hussain in the skybox. And for now, we're going to meet our visitors today, the Oval Invincibles. They're starting 11. Let's hear from them now. Next stop on the UTS train is South Korea in December. We're very much looking forward to it. For Jenny Drummond, I've been Max Whittle. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you hopefully very soon.